Okay, so this is the beginner saxophone lesson. This is Kate, she's agreed to do it. Um, okay. Hi. So just to get like a basis of everything, right? Like you don't really like, have any experience with instruments, right? Like Nothing. You've taken like sort of another beginner lesson with like two sets of foot or whatever, but like not like really. Nothing like, serious. Okay. Yeah, okay. So just to get started, we're gonna do like breathing, like I'm gonna teach you how to properly breathe. Okay. Because if you're just gonna play a saxophone or an instrument, which is like your conversation breath, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get the sound at all. No good at all. You may be able to, but it's not gonna last long, it's not gonna sound supportive. Mm -hmm. So just how to properly breathe, right? There's a few exercises we can do, I can give like a three hour lesson on breathing. <laughs> <laughs> a few exercises that we can do. Um, just, you're gonna breathe all your air out, and then just like, close your mouth and don't breathe in, right? For like, okay. two or three seconds, okay? okay. So just like with me, right? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. And you felt like you're about to die, basically. Yeah. Right? Like, all your air, right? <laughs> yeah. Like you're like starving for air. Yeah. And like as soon as like you like open your mouth and the air came out, mm -hmm. that's the kind of breath you always want to have. So like it just okay. fills up your lungs. You're like, <gasps> right. Okay. Um, we're gonna do another breathing exercise. This one is just gonna be inhaling all your air, right? So on like one, two, three, and take that breath, basically. Okay. okay? So okay. one, two, three. Okay, good. That's good. So that's the breath you're always gonna have. We're gonna. A little bit more in depth stuff to show you that you can't really ever have too much good air. Mm -hmm. You can have bad air in your lungs. Okay. But it's not really something we're gonna get into. <laughs> so this time we're gonna breathe, you're gonna hold it, and then you're gonna sip in more air, okay? Okay. So you're gonna do like do like a two pound breath, right? So one, two, and hold it, and then we're gonna sip air in, okay? Okay. So one, two, It was a lot of air, right? I ran out of room. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want. Like, you okay. want your lungs to expand as much as possible. And it's like really interesting that we do it regularly to where it's like, it's always expanding our lungs as much as we can. That way we're like, mm -hmm. the point of uncomfortableness isn't uncomfortable anymore. Okay. And that's what we get into. Don't breathe to where you're uncomfortable, but just take a good full breath while okay. you're about, like when you're about to play the saxophone. So whenever you're gonna play, you're gonna go, one, two, three. <gasps> Right? Okay. Like you want that much air because like I said, if you just have the conversation here, mm -hmm. you're done, right? Right. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the next one, right? Yeah. So you have the case. I do. Put it down. And then open the case. So yeah. So there's a few main parts of the saxophone that we have. Okay. You have the body of the saxophone, mm -hmm. you have the mouthpiece and the ligature, you have the neck of the saxophone. The next strap, and then you have your reeds, right? Okay. So, I'm gonna start you getting the saxophone ready. I want you to take the next strap and just put it on your neck. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next strap is very important. It keeps, it like hooks up your saxophone, like mm -hmm. the body of the sax, you'll see. And it holds all the weight of the sax, okay. right? So, none of the weight of the sax should be on your hands at all. Okay. All that your hands use for the sax is basically balancing it and actually playing it. Okay. So whenever you get the saxophone on, you're gonna adjust it, make sure mm -hmm. it's all good. Okay. So get the body of the sax, drop it by the bell right there. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see, see this little hook on the back? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna wanna hook that right there. And I just let it go. Like don't hold the sax. That's like, like that's you, have, heavy. you have to trust the next shot basically okay. to do all the work. Now you can adjust it because I can see that's gonna be low already. How about so, it? Yeah, like right here. Just up some. We're gonna do it more with the next stuff. So. Um, this is the reed you're gonna use. It's a near reed. Okay. Can I put it in my mouth? Yeah, just get it in your mouth and bite it like, like on top of your tongue, right? You can put more in there. Like just yeah, okay. Um. They don't taste good. They really don't. Mm -hmm. They never do. So next is your mouthpiece right here. Mm -hmm. This is your mouthpiece and your ligature. Mm -hmm. 
that's just the mouthpiece part, this is the ligature part, the reed is going to go in here, the flat part of the reed, if you look at it, is going to go, yeah, it's going to go like this, right? So, take this, so you see the screws, you can put the reed back in your mouth real quick, right? So take the screws and unscrew them a little bit, not all the way off. They're already unscrewed? Yeah, just a little bit more. Now you're going to want to slide the reed in between them. You don't want to take the ligature off because then that way you... No. So, yeah. So like... Like this way? Yeah. Like this. Just like this. And then try and slide the reed in there. Okay, I'm gonna do it for you then. Okay. That's okay. Because it can be very tricky and you don't want to break the reed because right. it's a very, very thin piece of wood, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just like set it and then go through for you. That way it's on top of it. Okay. It wouldn't fit. Yeah. Okay. So. No. The neck goes on first. But oh, okay. First, before that, we're just going to try and get a sound out on the mouthpiece and the reed, right? Okay, yeah. So. It goes the other way around. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're going to place the mouthpiece and stuff in your mouth, you're gonna to want to set your top teeth anchored on like the little yeah right there. Put it more in your mouth. No, like put okay right there. Your bottom keep your mouth open so far. Your mouth or your lip is gonna go rolled over your bottom teeth like that. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna to want to close your mouth and have very tight corners of your mouth like as tight as you can right now. And then just blow into it. Why is no air coming out? Are you pushing, like, are you, are you closing the reed down? Mm hmm Try it again. It's sort of going in. Is it supposed to make a noise? It should. Oh, ha, huh. okay. There you go. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> so, that is where, like, you're gonna. It's important to be able to make a good sound on that, right? Yeah. So, try it again this time. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. you're just trying to. Right? Yeah. And, like, the one time you sort of took, like, a decent breath, it okay. came out. So, like, get your armature set and then just. See? Yes. See what I'm saying? Like your breath is important. Okay. The breath is the foundation of all music that we have. Right. It's like if you have a pyramid, right? Mm -hmm. Breathing, number one. Like number it's one. the first layer. When you add something, you can't forget about your foundation. Right. Now we're going to do it with the neck. Okay. So the ligature in your mouthpiece goes on the cork. It might take some force to get it on there all the way. Like, don't be afraid to like push it on. If you need me to do it, can you? Okay. That's hard. Now we're going to do the same thing again, but on the neck of the mouth. So don't put that on yet, no. Ooh, just kidding. Yeah. Do the same thing. Put put it in your uh, mouth and then breathe and blow. <laughs> yes. So now we got the basics of how it sounds. Okay. You've made a sound, right? Yes. So put the neck and stuff on the next one. Is it supposed no. to? No. Go more. Uh, and then, okay. okay, stand up really quick. Bring this next one up to your, okay, you can tighten the, bring the next strip up more. How did you do it? I'll try it, just, okay, that's better. You can okay. see that now. Okay. The whole point of that was like, as you're standing, the next one should just naturally like go up to your mouth. Yeah. So if you're sitting with good posture, which is 
back off the chair, you know, straight back as much as possible. You just bring it up right. Yeah. The next shot holds all the weight. You don't have to move it up or down with your hands. You just balance it like I was talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. I think the literature here is a little tilt it down. So bring it up. Does it feel like it's off? Yeah, I'm feeling more like. Okay, then you can twist it to right. That's better. Okay. So just on the other side, blow into it. Breathe and blow. Good, actually. Yes. I truthfully wasn't expecting you to get that. That's yeah, really? Thing. Okay, so now proper hand position, right? Yeah. What's you had your like hand like down here or something. Yeah. So for this hand, right, mm -hmm. your finger is gonna go on this pearl. This, this one, one, that one, and then that one's right there, right? Your right hand, this one, this one, this one, and then yeah. Now bring it up again. Okay, I can see that right now already. Okay. Your embouchure, your lip, is starting to like come back further, like not curled back, okay? Okay. So when you're playing, make sure to remember, keep your bottom lip curled over your bottom piece, okay? Okay. Um, now, we're just going to start adding notes. Oh right? gosh, okay, yeah. So the, on your left hand, mm -hmm. you push down your first key. You don't remember what you need to do. Uh, sometimes. They have like no importance to you right now, like you don't. Like A, B, C. Yeah, okay, so. The, if you, okay, so the first one key is you're gonna be playing a B. Okay. So play a B. If you do one and two, it's gonna be A. And one, two, and three is G. Now with those three notes, So I'm excited. If you're gonna go B A G A B B B A A A B B B. Okay. So you wanna go slowly? Yes. Okay, so get the opening ready. So five, six, seven. It's right there, yeah. and this thumb is just down here. Down. Yeah, that's my okay. bad. That's my bad. You're good. So B A G. B A G. Yeah. That's hot cross bones. It is. Oh my god. I didn't want to do hot cross bones. <laughs> it's so basic. <laughs> but you know, if you want, it's hot cross bones. Hot dun, dun, cross bones. Dun. That's actually all I know of hot cross bones. Me too. <laughs> But I chose Mary Had a Lily, so I find it more interesting, okay? Yeah. So, Mary had a... That's B-A-G-A-B-B-B B-A-G-A-B-B-B Okay, let's do that. A-A-A Okay, cool. Do you tongue? You can't, okay, so... How you tongue... Can yeah. you differentiate this? How you tongue on a saxophone, right? Yeah. So... Your tongue, you have your mouthpiece, the other trigger, everything mm -hmm. in your mouth. The tongue, not the tip of your tongue, but like right behind the tip of your tongue, is gonna touch the reed and basically close it. Okay. That's how you tongue. So you wanna try that just now? Yeah. So just on any other note, just go. Improperly tongue, mm -hmm. and to me, it sounded like you were doing that properly. Oh, okay, boogie. Yeah, so nice. just remember, like, the very, like, behind the tip of your tongue on the reed, right? Okay. And closing it. Gotcha. You want to do a few tonguing exercises? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Cool. So, so, you got it, right? Yeah. So, whenever you go to re articulate the B, 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 it's do, 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 right? Okay. So, so you want to do a mirror other G, A, B, B, B. Okay. You got it. Yes. Um. So then I noticed 
notice is that your fingers are coming way off of okay. the things. So you want to plan it just like they like rest on there and they just go down, right? Okay. So you never want to like you take them off, but like never like three inches. Like it was usually like, like way <laughs> off. You're like having a cup of tea with like the yeah. <laughs> I guess so, so do it again, but try to keep your fingers closer onto the uh, keys. Okay. too high up okay because you can change octaves on the saxophone from your tongue placement okay and the octave that we want to be in your tongue has to be lower okay it's like sort of more advanced but you can do it right now <laughs> like be beginner actually should know it's called voicing but okay i don't really want to get into it in detail just think right. that your tongue has to stay low right now okay stay low okay yeah, I did it. So keep going. It's B B B A A A B B B. I don't really know like why it's stopping. I feel like maybe your tongue placement is going too far back and it's stopping it. Okay. That or it could be a bad read. Okay. Um Really, I don't know why. It's probably me. It, it's a, it could be the read, honestly. Um, but like wherever you have it, it sounds good. It just like, occasionally stops. Mm -hmm. Like I said, remember, like keep your tongue low, like the back of your tongue low. Yeah. And the tongue with your. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like right behind the tip of your tongue. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Like right here open as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So like when you're going like 
like you make like a O sound like you how I don't know how much different that's from brides and woodwinds. Yeah. For brides, you have to like basically feel like you have like a tennis ball in your mouth at all times. Okay. Um, I, for sax, it should be similar. Just mm-hmm. make sure you keep your tongue low on your lower notes, which is where we're at right now. Yeah. Um, so just keep your mouth open as much as possible, your throat open as much as possible. Mm-hmm. I've had it been described before to me as like your throat. You know how on a vacuum cleaner you have like the part that comes off mm-hmm. and you like it. Yeah. You know how it's like a round thing. That's how your throat should feel, right? Like that wide open, and like okay. you feel like your throat, it feels like you have like those ridges in it. Mm-hmm. Your throat should like be as open. It's a very weird analogy Dr. Johansson has used mm-hmm. it with me, and I was like, that makes perfect sense. It does, it really does. Um, so you wanna try it again with that in mind? Yeah, the other one? Okay. Yep, told it. me to do it, it's like especially the yeah. last one. Yeah, so throat open, jaw wide. Tongue down. Yeah. Okay. So let's try it again, and we're gonna do better this time. We're gonna do great, yeah. yeah. So D. D. You have do you have your right hand placement? Yeah. Uh, D is gonna be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then this octave key on the back. Mm-hmm. This one? Yeah, that you're on your thumb key. Okay. So just do a one, two, three, one, two, three thumb and then play. <laughs> you learned to the key. I'm sorry. So okay, so you have D. Uh, next would be E, so one, two, three. Take off the octave key and then one, two. That makes me go up. I shouldn't be go down. I'm an idiot. You're okay. So when you have G, A, B, C. Okay, so C is just two. Just two? Yeah, just two. So go G, A, B, C. D. Is it one, two, three? One, two, three. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. G, A, C. G, A, B, C. G, A, B, C. G, A, C, C. C. Okay. okay. And then D is from there all the way down with the octave key. Okay. So, G, A, B, B C. C. And then one, two, D. three, one, two, three, D. You press every, oh, there, yeah. the wrong button. There we go. Okay. So play D? Yeah. So play D. Do what? Remember whenever you go to the 
det är ju en hyllig anledning. Ja, precis. Mm. Also, at that point, whenever you go to D, your tongue needs to be raised a little bit more because you're going to go higher register. Okay. Um, not too high because then you can go to even higher. But it's mm -hmm. like, like at this point, it's roughly like a middle place, right? In between like really high and really low. For E. For D. For D. For D and E. Okay. <laughs> so these, right? Yeah. Okay. So now try G G D D D E D. Okay. So do you have your register or your octave key down? Yes. Okay. I think so. I tried. Okay, so G G D D E E D. And then D D E E D are all with octave key. Yeah. Okay. G G one two three. One two three. Okay. So, so C, which is two, so if C. I, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, C. So, da, 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 da. So, two, two, one, two, one, no, two. No, one, one. Two, two. Two, two, one, one, one. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, you want to do this one? Yeah. So. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right. So, like, I mean, if you're just 
all you, we started off and all you had to do was just mouth these right and I didn't get to like the actual body of this action mm-hmm. anything. You're not motivated to like anything. You're having it all right. like, oh, right. Right. Like, right. Like, <laughs> now that we have the body of this act and everything, like you have stuff to go practice and you're mm-hmm. motivated to, and just, just by that, you're going to want to learn yeah. how to play sax and play and more is going to make you better, right? Right. Um, I think we're done. Question mark? Yeah, so 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so, like, quickly, like, that's the sax, right? So, you don't want to take the ligature off? The ligature? No, no the ligature. My bad. So, so take, take the neck off first? Yeah, take the neck off. Okay, then, yeah, just let the sax go. Um, take the mouthpiece off of the neck. No, the piece too hard. It's I good. Mean, don't matter. Don't care. It doesn't care. <laughs> now the. You. Yeah, you're gonna have to get right. The neck goes uh. right here. So there. You're no no. Mm. So take the from the ligature. So unscrew the ligature and take the reed out. It's only your spit. I know, but it's nasty. <laughs> The reach of, yeah, okay, totally. Yeah. And then root, ligature and mouthpiece goes in here. That's going to go right here. And then body of your socks goes in here. Yeah. And then next shock just goes in there. Beautiful. The reach just goes right in there. That's it. Yay! Good job. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay.